So in the previous tutorial, we created an external service and we provided this JSON, which is an open API spec. And in that open API, we defined our service, we define all the operations that service supports. So if you see here, this is the external service that we created. And the way we created is was through this JSON that we provided. And in this JSON, it's an open API spec. We provided the path. We mentioned all the different operations it can do. And you can see here, it has these two operations, or you can call it as actions also. One action is Deepika create new employee. And the other action is this retrieve the employee by the ID. What has happened behind the scene is if you go over to the flow now, you will be able to see two actions under this external service. And you can call those actions just like you have called them in the previous tutorials. But the difference was in that tutorial you were doing an HTTP callout, which was uh, creating that external service in the background. Whereas this time what you did is you added an external service, which created those actions and through the flow, you can invoke those actions. So what we can do is if we go over to the flow, so this is the name of two operations and you're going to see two actions created automatically and under this external service. So if I go over to flow here and uh, let's go to the flows and I'm going to go and open it in a new tab and we will create a new flow. And through this flow, we are going to invoke the get action, which is going to fetch the employee based on the employee ID. Okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and click on new flow and uh, this is going to be another a screen flow. Let's go ahead and call it as a screen flow here. And uh, the first thing we are going to ask is give me the employee ID. Basically, you're going to ask the user for which employee you want the information, right? So this is the input screen. And uh, here it's going to have only one text field. And th that text field would be to enter the employee record ID. And uh, this is a required field. We're going to go ahead and hit the done here. Now, automatically, what will happen is if you go over to this action screen. So here you can see there are three external services you are seeing. This is employee external service. This is employee external service two. And this is your Deepika source employee three, the one that you created manually. So if you go back to this external service, and here, if you go to the external service, you will see all the three external services. So if I go to this external service, you see these three. And if you come over, these are the th same three external services. And if you click on this one, now under this service, you're going to see two actions. These are same actions that you created through your open API. If you remember here, this is one action and this is your other action, which is the pick create new employee and the same actions are appearing over here. Now, just like you have invoked previously, you can do the same thing. And I'm going to invoke this action here and uh, the result store employee information and what is the input values for the selected uh, action. Now this particular action requires you an employee ID. So this is the parameter that you have defined in the open API. And the value of this is coming from this text box, whichever, whatever value the user is entering, the same value will be passed as this ID parameter. And then I'm going to hit the done here. That's all. And now we'll add another screen to display the results, right? So here, this is going to be displaying your employee information. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use a text field, display text here. And here we are going to display the employee first name, same like we have done it earlier. And here we're going to say the outputs from this one is available here. We're going to go to 2xx and we are going to ask for the first name. And here I'm going to say employee first name. And I am going to bold this. So I'm going to go ahead and bold it. Similarly, I'm going to drop another display text here. 
and this is for employee last name and where is the employee last name it is available in the response that is coming from that api and the response we are storing in this variable outputs and this is 2xx and then here we are going to get the last name not even a single line of code and everything has been taken care of similarly here i'm going to say employee last name and then i'm also going to make this highlighted and make it bold similarly we are going to go ahead and say employee salary we are going to display the employee salary this is the output to xx and here we have the salary over at this place and i'm going to say employee salary and we will make it bold so this is there now over here let's add some colon as well and over here also we'll add a colon that's it we don't have to display anything else if you want you can add another text field and then hit the save here this is the manual external service and we what we are doing is we are fetching the employee information this is your get call and we're going to go ahead and hit the save and we will activate it i'm just going to debug it as usual you can drop this flow to a button that you button you can add anywhere on the record page wherever you want okay we are just doing it the debug here where i'm going to show you that this flow is working as expected and then we'll go ahead and hit the run here enter the employee id so we will go over to our other source application which is this one and we'll fetch one of the record id so here we'll go over to the employee hr data so i'll go here and we'll go to the employees hr data let's fetch the susan garcia and uh, let's go ahead and copy their record id and we will paste this record id over here and let's see what the result is now the result i'm expecting is susan garcia here and correct we got the right result and this result is coming from where from this application and the salary is 190000 similarly if you want to do another test you can do that also i'm going to go ahead and hit the run again and then this time let's say we fetch another employee id this is karen smith and uh, i'm going to copy their record id this is the separate org now we are going to a different org here if you see this has no number in there this one has a number and uh, other way you can figure out the differences this is in red color and this is in blue color and then what we'll do we'll go back to this and we'll enter this employee id and this time i'm expecting the result to be karen smith and this is the salary so if you go here and we hit the next i'm expecting karen smith and the salary and this is working as expected so what we have done is we defined our api in the open api format and we created an external service using that open api behind the scene the operations were added the actions were automatically available apex classes got created those apex classes had the request wrapper response wrapper everything happened behind the scene and through your flow all you're doing is invoking them so this was an example of using your manual created external service and we've invoked the get method now in the next tutorial similarly the exact same way you can also go ahead and invoke the post method and it is very similar to the other post method we did this time we don't have to make an http call out all we need to do is invoke that post action from that external service so in the next tutorial we are going to see how to call the post method i will request you to try it yourself first before you jump to the next lecture that way you will be able to understand what you have done so far and then you can verify your answer by going over to the next video but pause the video now and try to do it yourself try to call your post method and try to do it through the flow show the results and check if the employee got created in your source application and once you have done all of that then see me in the next video thank you so much take care